What is the scientific method? Do you care? Yes, you do. Let me tell you why. The scientific method is an empirical way of acquiring knowledge that has characterized the development of science since at least the 17th century. The scientific method that we know today is broken down into roughly six steps. Very simply, the process involves asking questions, then predicting the answer, followed by experiments or empirical observations based off of your predictions. Finally, analyze your data and share the results. The scientific method has roots particularly with Francis Bacon, Galileo, and Descartes. But the basics of this method have been traced back to the 11th century with al Hazan. Let's check into the scientist for more information. I don't know if I'd exactly call myself a scientist, but uh, it's good to see you as well. This is... Can't I have the right guest even once? Where's the producer? What's that? Well, you can go tell him that and then some. I'm done. He'll be back. What my brother doesn't understand is, everyone uses the scientific method in their daily lives to some extent or another. I suppose in some way that makes us all scientists. For example, when I was young I saw a pupper get bit by a rattlesnake, and then he got real sick. I asked the question, are rattlesnakes poisonous? I predicted the answer to be yes. I then researched my question, I said, hey Uncle Chet! Are rattlesnakes poisonous? He said, yeah, thus validating my prediction or hypothesis. I followed that with experiments like letting a rattlesnake bite me. It hurt. A lot. And I made observations like watching Aunt Matilda milk poison out of her rattlesnakes. After looking at all my data, I concluded that rattlesnakes are indeed poisonous. I then shared my results with Uncle Chet. I said, Rattlesnakes are poisonous, don't get bit. He looked at me funny after that. Apparently, I don't have a choice. I must continue with this interview. Although that story was charming, uh, perhaps I did rush to judgment on you. Uh, do you have any other examples? Got lots. Let's see. When I was young, I laid out chunks of brown beans for birds to eat. I saw that they flew really fast after eating those beans. I asked the question, do birds eat beans to fly faster? My hypothesis was yes. I then researched my question and found out that beans create gas when ingested, which my Uncle Chet was so willing to show me. And gas, when under pressure, is a propellant, thus supporting my original hypothesis. I then performed some controlled observations where I fed some birds only beans and some birds a diet without any beans. I observed sadly there was no noticeable difference in the speed of flight. Therefore, my conclusion was that my hypothesis itself was incorrect. Remember, if the scientific method proves your hypothesis incorrect, it is still a success. Exactly right! In a more scientific setting, however, documentation is of the utmost importance. Everything must be recorded so that others can take your conclusion and replicate it. Well, it looks like I am out of time. If I had more time, I would tell you interesting facts about the scientific method, like in order for your hypothesis or prediction from your original question to be valid, it must also be falsifiable. Now it's your turn. Do you believe that Francis Bacon was Shakespeare? Partake in this survey and let your voice be heard. Till next time, for destructive creativity, I... I'm the narrator. Did I ever tell you the time I was tricked into marrying one-eyed Susie? It was an accident, let me tell you.